Tribute speech. Imagine a bright blue sky without a cloud in sight, freshly fallen snow, and a beautiful view of the other mountains and valleys you see before you. You take off the lip of the jump and you get the feeling of flight. The only thing you can think of in this flight is freedom. Many freestyle skiers love this feeling of freedom so much that they will push the limits to achieve it. Additionally, these athletes know that in a matter of seconds, this feeling of freedom can change into a horrific accident and even death. One freestyle skier knows exactly how your life can change in a matter of seconds while striving to experience that feeling of freedom. His name is Josh Dewey. Josh deserves praise not only because he overcame a horrific accident, he continued to push and strive to retrieve his dreams no matter what stood in his way. In 2002, Canadian professional freestyle skier Josh Dueck was having financial problems. Josh set aside his personal skiing goals and I'm a freestyle coach in British Columbia, Canada. Josh became a very successful coach to many freestyle legends. Josh loved his job until March 8, 2004. On this day, Josh went out on a beautiful ski day to demonstrate a trick for one of his athletes he was coaching. Josh went off the lip of the jump and his life changed from then on. He fell about 100 feet and over rotated when landing. When he hit the ground, his ski boots came around and hit him in the back of the head. This was lights out for Josh. Josh woke up in a hospital bed with a dislocated back and a severed spinal cord. Josh was paralyzed from the waist down. Optimistically, the doctor told Josh that he was just going to kick ass in a wheelchair and be in a sit ski in a matter of no time. This inspired Josh to tell his family and friends that they shouldn't worry because he would be soon back on the mountain. A year later, Josh was true to his word. Josh not only learned how to ride the sit ski, he began ski racing. He won the Canadian Racing Championships. He also earned a spot on the World Cup circuit. He had some very horrific crashes, but he never gave up. Josh. Josh also won a world championship, a silver medal at the Paralympic Games, and won a gold medal at the 2011 Winter X Games. Josh was not a ski racer though. He was always a freestyle skier. Josh even joked about how much he hated wearing spandex every single race. So Josh set out to take his sit ski into some uncharted freestyle terrain. The terrain he chose was dangerous and extremely difficult for regular skiers, let alone a disabled skier. Josh charged down uncharted terrain with cliffs and jumps. Josh blew people away with what he could do on a sit ski. However, there was still something missing. Josh, want, ever since he laid in a hospital bed, dreamt of being the feeling of flight while doing a backflip. No paralyzed sit skier has ever done a backflip before. So Josh traveled to Woodward at Copper in Copper Mountain, Colorado, where he first tried to achieve his goals of doing a backflip. He practiced many hours of doing a backflip in a foam pit. You know, he, after a while, he realized that a backflip was definitely possible out on the snow. So he went back to Canada where a personal jump was made in the back country of Whistler Mountain. On February 3rd, 2012, Josh became the first ever person to land a backflip in a sit ski. Not only this, Josh achieved his dreams of once again being able to achieve the freedom of flight. As a skier, I have also been to Woodward at Copper, where I first heard about Josh Dueck and learned my first backflip. In conclusion, Josh's story is very inspiring. Josh shows his mental and physical strength to continue after a horrific accident. Josh was dealt a terrible card, but he shows us that we just can't give up no matter what stands in our way. Also, Josh helps and continues to help other people in his area and around the world to find their freedom, to find their adventure. Josh inspires me and other people around the world to celebrate the outdoor life. This way of living 
is true freedom.